What's going on, guilty guys and gals? So, it is no secret that Danganronpa music situation has meant that I can't do a Danganronpa episode this week. I mean, I could, but I'd have to take the music out and I don't want to. So, instead I thought, uh, let's talk about another game exci I'm excited about, which is Warner Brothers Multiverses. Um, the concept had me right away, right? The idea of DC superheroes, maybe <laughs> and they were basing them on the... Uh, uh, animated universe, which is probably one of my favorite interpretations of the DC superheroes. And then you have Cartoon Network, which I'm a big proponent of, um, far more than Nickelodeon, which is why I never really got into Nick All-Stars Brawl. The only Nickelodeon shows I ever watched were Spongebob and My Life as a Teenage Robot. A weird pairing of shows, I know, but I guess also fairly odd parents, but that wasn't in the game anyways. <laughs> um... This, this is much more my speed. So I thought today uh, I'd take the time and talk about alternate costumes. Because I haven't saw anybody speculate about it yet. At least not on YouTube. Um, there are definitely uh, people speculating it, about it on Reddit and stuff, I'm sure. But I haven't really... I don't really use Reddit either. So <laughs> here we are. Um, I do know, however, a few leaks. I have... Uh, I downloaded a two-hour almost video of um, character lines that were data mined uh, out of the alpha. So I do know a few things, um, and I've kept up with videos of people covering the leaks. Um, the only way that's really going to impact this video is I'm going to tell you if any of these costumes have been found in the game at all. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I wanted to start with Finn and Jake because uh, I've been watching Adventure Time again recently. And I just think they have the widest variety of skin potential. Um, a lot of the other characters like Bugs and Tom and Jerry are just like hats, pretty much. Um, but with Adventure Time, you have a lot of alternate universes. You have a lot of alternate looks. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's start with... Uh, <laughs> this is like a slideshow almost. But uh, we'll start with Finn's swords. So Finn used a variety of swords through the show. Um, which is just kind of how it works. Um, and the one he uses in multiverses is his first sword. I don't know the name of it, uh, <laughs> but this golden sword, um, which is fine and all. And that sword is probably the most iconic other than the demon blood sword. Uh, but we'll get there. Um, and these, these assortments of swords, I would be surprised if they aren't referenced in the skins at all. Um, I don't think they would be the skins on them, their own, but they could. Um, I think they'll probably just use a different sword for specific skins. Um, so I, I'll talk about that as we go along. Uh, the one thing I can say about this is someone did find the knight sword in the files of the game. Um, so at least we know that one's going to show up. Uh, the knight sword is this purple sword on the right, by the way. Uh, I know the, the official names of all of them except the first sword. I probably should have just looked it up, but whatever. Um, so the first one I want to say is pajamas. Finn's pajamas. This is probably the alternate look that Finn takes the most in the series. Because, you know, there's a lot of nighttime escapades. Um, and a lot of people, me included, believe that this should... Uh, come with the root sword. I don't know why it just it just fits like the color scheme fits and all that and the root sword is Like a sword that shows up for a little bit and then disappears pretty early on So it feels like it kind of works with the pajamas outfit um, I'll have to look again and see if the root sword actually is there, but this was found in the alpha by uh, a youtuber <laughs> Just put the the channel on screen um, and then I'll show some footage of the pajama fin uh, I believe it's in a red team version, so it's not going to look exactly like this, but uh, that's basically what it looks like. Um, so that's in the game. That's confirmed to already be in the game. So there's one. Uh, the next one I have here is the ep the outfit from the episode where... The Halloween episode, basically. Uh, where they're in the murder mansion, and Jake sets up Finn's birthday party to be this murder mystery thing. Um... This one specifically because there have been a lot of leaked voice lines talking about holidays. Um, specifically winter, like <laughs> Christmas and all of that. Um, but I don't think it's too far a stretch of the imagination to imagine there will be a Halloween event in this game. Because it's free to play and they're going to be releasing stuff all the time. And I think this would be the perfect time... <laughs> 
to have uh, this sort of like masquerade outfit for Finn, and then have the demon blood sword, which is the most you know Halloweeny sword. I guess the night sphere sword, the night sword is also Halloweeny, but uh, the demon blood sword would fit well for this one. Um, and yeah, it, it, Finn wears like a fancy dress suit a few times in the series, but I think this is the most iconic because it comes with the scene with Shoko's weird green ghosts, you know, where he has to like go in the vault. I think that's that's one of the more iconic episodes of uh, earlier Adventure Time. Next, we're talking about the grass sword. Uh, the skin that would have the grass sword is obviously Fern, um, which is Finn's grassy doppelganger here. Fern has been uh, data mined. Uh, I have not seen it, so I will not say it's confirmed, but apparently people found files relating to Fern, and that's not surprising. I mean, it's one of Finn's most uh, like <laughs> well-known alternate looks, I guess you could say. So uh, yeah, that, that would cover the grass sword and Fern makes sense. Next here, I have the robot arm or the bionic arm um, with the Finn sword. Uh, the Finn sword doesn't last too long because the grass sword, you know, stabs through it. Um, and then you get Fern. <laughs> but I do think um, the... The robot arm look after Finn loses his arm and Bubblegum replaces it with a bionic arm should be in the game at some point. I believe in the data mind night sword thing, uh, it was assumed that it would be for this skin with the robot arm because the night sword is the last sword he uses in the series and this is for the later end of the show. I don't know. I think I would prefer the Finn sword for this look. Doesn't really matter. Bottom line is this is a very likely look for Finn. Um, as we go on here, probably a pretty common skin, but still. The next one is interesting because <laughs> I do think it is important enough to be referenced. I just don't know how it would be referenced. Um, the next three are all sweaters. <laughs> Finn with sweaters. Uh, like I was saying, we had the holiday, um, stuff come out through the the uh, data mines. So this Christmas sweater from the episode where we learn about Simon and the Ice King, which is another pretty iconic episode, um, I could see that showing up for sure. Uh, but another super iconic episode is the episode where the Lich first appears, and Finn has to fight the Lich in this sweater that Bubblegum made for him. Uh, so I could also see this look appearing. And then finally, these are both one-off looks pretty much. The, the third one here is... Uh, Finn's more standard it's a cold time I'm wearing a sweater look <laughs> uh, I believe later it gets like Finn's face stitched on it right um, but this is just like Finn in a sweater I added the ninja headband from the ice ninja episode because that just makes it stand out a little bit more but one of these three certainly will be in the game I'm sure if not all three of them or you know an assortment of them um, and I think that would work for the small sword uh, although the small sword is, <laughs> I mean, it's this cutlass looking sword, right? Um, it barely went anywhere and it was only really around in the islands miniseries, but, uh, these are also pretty close to one-off looks. So I feel like it makes sense. Uh, I don't know. Or you could just, you know, put whatever sword, the regular sword, doesn't matter. I just thought this would be a decent place to put the small sword because they're also sort of obscure looks. The small sword might not be in the thing at all. <laughs> There's one other potential one for the small sword, but we will get there soon. Uh, the next one I have here is this spacesuit. I was looking for a different spacesuit, but I couldn't find a picture of it online. Um, but Finn in a spacesuit kind of makes sense to me. Um, this one you could also use the small sword for because I believe this is the kind of t this is around the same time, um, or you know any other sword. But the the spacesuit makes a lot of sense to me. <laughs> Maybe one that's a little bit like closer to Finn's actual proportions. Like there is one I know there's one where it's like uh, it's got like a yellow helmet or something. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, a spacesuit makes sense to me as a fun alternate costume. And then finally we have no hat Finn, or like Finn with his hair out, which I would be surprised if we don't see at all. There is a shorter variant after he cuts his hair that you could use instead of this like super long haired variant. But uh, this is the one I'd use the night sword for because it feels the most like, you know, the end of the series to me. I don't know. I know it shows up like very early on, but uh, 
it's like a different look, and the knight sword's very different from Finn's usual stuff, so it feels like it fits together in my mind for some reason. But I would be surprised if we don't get a no-hat Finn alt. <laughs> Uh, next up are the alternate universes, or um, alternate fins. Uh, and there are four of them, which may be more than you were expecting. Uh, but here they are. Uh, we'll start with, with the first one here, which is Farm World Fin. I would be very surprised if we don't get this one. Um, especially, I, I would hope they have the crown. Uh, the cool thing about Farm World Fin is he actually like swaps out part of his robot arm for a sword, so that's kind of unique. Um... And also, you know, Farm World is definitely one of the more memorable <laughs> of the episodes. I would be very surprised if we don't see a Farm World Finn alt. Um, next is Fiona. We already have Cake in the game, so I would be surprised if Finn doesn't have a Fiona alt. Um, but you never know. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, the next one I'm feeling a little bit less confident about, and that's Shoko. Um, Shoko is like... Finn is a reincarnation of Shoko. That, that's how I'll say it. Um, of, like, the hero spirit or whatever. Um, so, Shoko also has a robot arm, and it works very similar to Farm World Finn's arm, which is very intentional. Um, but the one thing about Shoko that doesn't apply to any of these other characters, even the spacesuit, is that Shoko doesn't have a backpack. And one of Finn's very important moves is this swing around with the backpack, right? So you'd have to either like add a backpack onto Shoko or have her do something else, like whip with her hair or something. I don't know what you'd do. Um, but anyway, it would be a little bit more effort than some of these other ones. So I wanted to point that out. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> And then finally, there's Shermie, uh, which is from, like, the final episode of Adventure Time, or very close to the end. Shermie is very small, so having him be an alt for Finn doesn't seem very possible. But I thought I'd bring him up anyway, because he is technically an alternate Finn, and he does use the Finn sword. So there is some connective tissue here <laughs> that you could pull from, but I feel like it's the least likely of these four alternate universe people. Uh, next up, I have three designs for Finn in a wizard costume, because Finn did a lot of wizarding, apparently. Uh, more wizarding than I remembered. Uh, <laughs> any of these three could be uh, an outfit for a wizard Finn. I think the, the stars with the tucked-in robe is probably the one I'd go with, even though it's probably less iconic because it's from early in the series. Uh, but then you could have the sword transmuted arm thing, which is kind of fun. Um, I don't know. I just like that look better. Uh, my second choice would probably be the Wizard City one, which is this blue one where Finn is drawn a, a third eye on his forehead, because that's funny. And then the Wizard Duel one, uh, I don't remember the name of this episode, um, but the one where he and Jake masquerade as a wizard in order to try to win a kiss from Princess Bubblegum, that'd probably be my last choice, but it is still a different look for Finn, and any of these three would work out for sort of a wizard alt. I'll see if they do two, but I, at least one of them, I think, is a pretty solid bet. Uh, next up, we have Elements. Um, so the Elements miniseries is my favorite one. <laughs> but uh, it gave us Fire Finn, uh, who is infected by the flames of war, um, which I'd be very surprised if we don't see. And then also Candy Fern. Um, and this sort of opens up a window to something else, which is kind of weird, which is alternates of alternates? <laughs> like... I showed Farm World Finn earlier with the Ice Crown, but would we have one Farm World Finn without the Ice Crown and one with the Ice Crown? Would we have one Fern that's just Fern and then one that's Candy Fern? Like, can we do an alternate of an alternate? Um, and along with those is this version of Fiona that has this dress and this pink sword, which is different from her normal look. Um, and I kind of prefer it, <laughs> honestly. It's like a reference to um, Sailor Moon, I believe. But anyway, uh, just like her sword was in the original design, yeah, I guess it definitely is. Um, I'd be surprised if we don't see this one either, just because they've already made the model for Fiona, so why not, right? I didn't really think about it before, but alternates of alternates could be a thing, <laughs> after all. Uh, they're recording different voice lines for these characters, they might well get as much out of them as they can. Uh, and then after this, I just have a bunch of random references for Finn costumes we could do. Um, I'll start off with Dr. Finn. Because uh, there's this one episode where Finn pretends to be a doctor, 
uh, because Dr. Princess is away or something, I can't remember. Uh, but this is notably one of the first appearances of the small sword, so this would be another good place to fit the small sword in. Um, and also it references the fact that Finn's mother is a doctor, um, which I think is, you know, it gives it some more weight than some of these other ones, um, which are just silly for the most part. Uh, the second one I'll bring up that I think is slightly good is the Hall of Egress, um, when Finn loses everything and has to, you know, <sighs> it's hard to explain the Hall of Egress quickly. Anyway, this sort of, uh, look with the blindfolded eyes, I do like it. Again, it does suffer from the problem of not having the backpack, um, which most of these looks at this point are going to suffer from, but, uh, you know, you could just add it on there, I guess. It wouldn't be hard. Um, I just think the Hall of Egress, I think the Hall of Egress got nominated for an award, too. Um, so I'd be surprised if there wasn't, like, any references to it at all. And this would be a decent costume idea. Um, now, here we're really getting into these one-off episodes. Davy! <laughs> this is from an episode where Finn, uh, right after he cuts off all his hair, um, he, he pretends to be just a regular guy and he gets, like, way too into it. Um... No backpack, he's not even a fighter when he's Davy, so I think this is very unlikely. But Davy is kind of funny and meme so you never know. Um, here's another weird one, Hug Wolf. <laughs> this is from a one-off episode where Finn gets uh, infected by hugging werewolves. Um, I think this is very unlikely, but you never know, it is something different. Uh, we got the Banana Guard outfit from the Thin Yellow Line, which is one of my favorite episodes. Um, no backpack again, but you could easily add one on. Uh, I just think it's funny, and it's a, it's a fun reference. Although I think Jake would probably be more likely to have it than Finn. Uh, and then finally, I'll just add this Flame Kingdom outfit, or, because I couldn't find a good picture of it, just Fire Shield Finn. Um, when people cast Fire Shield, it, like, drenches you in this blue hue or in elements it was purple for some reason i don't remember why <laughs> but uh i do believe the game does have a blue costume for finn i'm not sure i don't actually have a code for it i've just been watching people play it um so maybe that will just end up supplanting fire shield but you never know um there's also they could add the whole you know stolen costumes from the fire kingdom people that are in this picture so i don't know maybe <laughs> And that wraps up Finn, so we are ready to go move on to Jake here, um, and then after that we will be done for this episode, but yeah. Um, let's start with the ones we've already talked about uh, a little bit with Finn. Um, so we'll start with Beth. Uh, Beth is uh, the future version of Jake, basically. <laughs> um, I think it's quite unlikely. I don't even remember if Beth has stretchy powers or not. Um... So yeah, <laughs> I just thought I'd bring it up. Um, the other one we've already talked about is this fire costume with the flame shield. Um, I should have picked up an image of it. Maybe I'll do it after the fact here. But there is an episode, I think it's Hot to the Touch, if I remember correctly, um, where Jake dresses up as a minstrel <laughs> and tries to woo Flame Princess for Finn. That would be a funny costume. Uh, you never know. And then Jake in the thin yellow line, which is just Jake stretched to look like a banana guard, which is funny. Um, so yeah, let, let's start with the one we definitely have confirmed, which is Cake. Um, cake we've already got in the game, so we know that's happening. That is confirmed. Uh, as for costumes that are leaked, we do have a leaked costume of Jake as the shapeshifter, or just it's Jake's shapeshifter version with the five eyes. Um, which makes sense. That's like the most natural costume for him, I think, of all of them. So uh, I would be surprised if that wasn't in there. Um, you know. <laughs> uh, but let's move on to some that I think would be fun uh, as like alternate Jakes sort of here. Uh, we'll start with Joshua. Now, Jake does wear his father's hat, which Joshua is his father, uh, when he's raising his kids in one episode. So it wouldn't be too far off to have him wear the hat in one uh, costume. And it's a fun reference. Uh, so that one's pretty easy. <laughs> uh, next up is Zombie Jake. Uh, there's an episode, I don't remember the name of it. Uh, I remember Science the Rat, which is in that episode. But I don't remember the name of the actual episode. 
But anyway, Princess Bubblegum invents the zombie serum, and the zombies bite Jake, and Jake becomes a zombie. <laughs> That's basically all you need to know. Um, for a Halloween alt, uh, Finn can have the masquerade outfit, and Jake could have zombie Jake. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty fun. Uh, next up I have Jake Jr., which is the only one of Jake's kids I think kind of fits his powers the most. I believe she definitely has stretchy powers, and she might be able to float? I don't remember. Anyway, um, she's definitely the one that most closely resembles Jake in terms of, like, size and powers. So if they were going to reference any of Jake's kids, it's probably Jake Jr. Um, next up I have Jake's Christmas sweater. I mean, if Finn's going to have one, Jake will probably have one too. Uh, and speaking of that, let's look at Wizard Jake. I just picked two of Jake's outfits here because Jake doesn't really have a specific uh, look in the Wizard Duel episode. He's just Finn's arms and legs. Um, but I would I would definitely go with the the frog wizard episode cloak here, the one with like the afro and the mustache, because I just think that's hilarious. Although the triangular one is also pretty funny. Um, either way, these are both a good costume to go with for Jake. Um, one I'd be surprised if we didn't see is Jake with this sort of, like, uh, bandit mask and the, like, big forehead or whatever, um, which is a reference to his past as a criminal. Uh, I would be surprised if we didn't see that one, because that was a, a pretty decent plot point in Adventure Time, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then finally, for, like, the ones that I'm feeling very strong about uh we have slime jake and ice jake now if we're going to have two elements uh referenced by finn and fern then it only makes sense that jake should have the other two elements represented um and jake in the elements miniseries does succumb to the slime transformation so that one definitely makes sense um plus you know slime and his powers kind of make sense together Ice is a little weirder, though, because he doesn't actually turn into ice in elements. Like, Finn turns into fire and he turns into slime. Um, but he does grow, like, this icicle on his head. I think they could do a design for Ice Jake, which would be pretty fun. Um, it would be wholly original, but based on the concept of Jake being somewhat susceptible to the ice element. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I just think they've got two elements already in there. Maybe they could do all four. Or maybe. I don't know. Uh, I think it'd be fun to complete the whole elemental pizza, <laughs> as it were. Uh, next up, here's some weird ones. I think we're basically two weird ones. Now, there's a couple here that I want to talk about first. Okay, so first off is Amnesia Jake. This is from the episode with the deer that everybody talks about as being horrifying. And it is horrifying. And I think uh, it's got enough internet popularity that using this amnesia version of Jake would be uh, a good idea. Another sort of spooky Halloween-y alt, almost, but um, also pretty funny. You could, you'd could you only have to add, like, a couple lines about him saying, like, shh, it's my birthday, or, like, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, uh, that'd be pretty interesting. The other one I have here is the, the milkman slash mailman from the Princess Cookie episode, which is another one that has uh, sort of blown up on the internet a little bit for being, like, shockingly sad. Um, and I just think Milkman Jake is such a funny-looking outfit that it, it, it has to show up in there, you know? <laughs> um, the mailman, a little less so, but definitely the milkman version I would be kind of sad if it wasn't in the game at some point. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so now we're into the weird one-off episode ones. And I'll start with Demon Jake uh, from that episode where they go into the Nidosphere. To be fair, Finn also has a different outfit during this time, but it's just his pajamas outfit with like a paper plate on his face. Um, I think Jake's is much more doable. Have him have just the demon horns and then the spooky mouth, but have his normal proportions. You know what I mean? Uh, not like this uh, <laughs> spider creature that he's looking like here. Um, that'd be a pretty fun Halloween alt, too, if they didn't want to do the zombie. Uh, another weird one-off episode, the episode where they... Uh, what song is it? Just Your Problem, I think. I'm Just Your Problem, the episode where that song is from, where they have to form a band to get through the, the chorus doors. Um, Jake turns into this, like edgy bass guitarist who's only in it for the music uh that would be a pretty funny <laughs> alternate costume for jake um here's another weird just random episode one which is uh 
in a, I referenced it before with Finn, but the, the Ice Ninja episode um, where Jake puts on the headband and then covers his face with his ears is very silly, but I, it's also very simple, so it'd be pretty easy to implement if they wanted to do it. And I think that is it, as far as I know, as far as I have here, anyway. Um, I'm sure there's a billion other outfits I missed because I'm just, you know... I just picked up the ones that stuck in my mind, so I thought, and the ones that had, you know, internet <laughs> reason, like, internet popularity. Um, so I'm sure I've missed a ton of outfits that could be in the game. You can leave them in the comments below, I'll read them, I'll heart them, probably. Um, but these are just a few concepts to think about in multiverses, because multiverses skins are going to be, uh, like, in-game purchases. They're going to spend some decent money on putting them in, so we could see a lot of interesting things. So yeah, that's that's uh, that's part one done. Um, the next one I want to do is Steven and Garnet, uh, and then, you know, I'll start moving on to non-Cartoon Network properties. But uh, let me know that you're interested in this with a, a like, a subscribe, perhaps, a comment. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye!